Hello. Hi. Welcome to Weeman Laboratories. Today, we have been tasked by the police department of Springfield to solve a crime. Mm -hmm. Late last night at the Springfield drugstore, there was a break-in and someone stole 10 bottles of insulin. We have been tasked to test the urine of the six suspects to see who stole the insulin. Mm -hmm. Won't you join us? Will you? First, a little background on what insulin even is. Insulin comes from an organ in your endocrine system. Your endocrine system is a series of glands that secrete hormones that tell your body all sorts of things. Your endocrine system is vital to your entire body's balance. It talks literally to every other system. <laughs> it is in charge of sending out growth hormones and it is in charge of sending out hormones related to your blood pressure and your blood sugar levels and all of the other things that keep your body's balance. So how your endocrine system works is on feedback loops. Feedback loops tell your body what needs to be adjusted to maintain appropriate levels of hormones and all kinds of other things in your body. So negative feedback loops are primarily what our body works upon. Basically, when your hormones are low in the blood, a signal is sent from the brain to produce more hormones. When you produce too much hormone, a signal is sent to your brain to stop producing that hormone. People that have diabetes have a dysfunctional pancreas. Their pancreas does not create a chemical called insulin. Insulin is what helps maintain a balance in our blood sugar levels. So people that do not make their own insulin often have way too much blood sugar or way too low blood sugar. So they need this insulin to help keep the balance. So in order to keep that balance because their body's not doing it, they take insulin to help that happen. So diabetes is a disorder of the endocrine system and we are here to figure out who has stolen the insulin. And in order to do that, we've got to figure out which one of these people is possibly diabetic. Here we have our suspects. Suspect number one, Grandpa Simpson. Suspect number two, Apu. Suspect number three, Bart Simpson. Suspect number four, Doris, the lunch lady. Suspect number five, Homer Simpson. And suspect number six, Miss Hoover. Our suspects have all submitted urine samples to Weeman Laboratories here. These urine samples are going to be tested to see which ones contain insulin. Here we have a spot plate. I've numbered the six spots where we'll be placing the suspect's urine. We will now transfer the suspect's urine samples into their own spot onto the spot plate. Suspect number one, Suspect number two. <clears throat> Suspect number three. Suspect number four. Suspect number five. Oops. And suspect number six. Please take a moment and pause the video so that you may write down the observations of the color of the urine before testing. Okay. Now that you have noted the color of each of the suspect's urine, some darker and lighter than others, we are going to use a universal indicator solution, just a couple of drops in each person's urine. What we are looking for is a color change from yellow to either blue or purple. The blue or purple will indicate there's sugar in the urine, sugar coming from the insulin. So our suspect is going to have a color change from yellow to blue or purple. So let's start testing. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, oh. okay, suspect number two. Green. Interesting. Suspect number three. Green again. Hmm. 
suspect number four. Oh, kind of orange reddish. Yeah, definitely. Suspect number five. Orange just as well. Ooh, interesting. And then finally, suspect number six. Another orange, red orangish color. Okay. So, as we see, post testing, we have our urine samples. What color would you call sample number one, George? Um, it's purple. Okay. And samples two and three are different shades of what color? Green. I think so too. Yes, and samples four, five, and six, they're all, what color would you say? Red orange. I would agree with you on that, Mr. Scientist George. Mm -hmm. So, take a moment now and to fill out the column in your chart titled Color After Testing. We here at Lehman Laboratories feel that our testing has been conclusive and we now know who stole the insulin. There was one color that really stood out. Do you know who stole the insulin? I don't know who. We'll see.